I remember my first experience with the Samoan SWAT team. There was a WCW show that aired at midnight. Watch how high he goes. You remember Jimmy Sucker Fly Snooker? Wow. Well, you add to another 100 pounds to him, and that's what you just saw. That's it. That's it. The SST. We beat that kid and his partner. So I think that day was uh, was the seed to plant to not, not to mess with the Samoans back in the day. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but me and Sammy were the first Paul Heyman guys back in the day. Were you really? Yeah, we could go into WCW. When my big money people call Paulie dangerously, they know exactly how to control my animals. Throughout its history, professional wrestling could sometimes treat wrestlers of varying ethnicities with some very broad brush strokes. These Samoans look like they're fresh out of the jungle. Both around the 300 pound mark, they are mean. Up until Rikishi, the Samoan dynasty were taken really seriously. Cut to Rikishi dancing with Scotty Too Hottie and Grandmaster Sexay, and now we add a whole new layer. nice to see the new era in the Hanoi family. I am Ava Rain. You don't have to see the, the lava lava, the skirts that we used to wear. You don't have to see the spears that we used to come out with. Today, the only thing you see probably with the culture is the tattoos. I always talk to my kids is, you know, going forward, continue to utilize this platform, something positive. You come for my family, and I come for you. We believe the gentleman we are yeah. going to visit, he's a big collector. OK. His name is Mark, and mm -hmm. has, I guess you call it the Mawashi? Shirt. You I doing? think we're in the right place. How you doing, Mark? Nice to meet you. Good, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> look at that. How you doing, Mark? Say Good, how you Mark. doing? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Beautiful home here. <laughs> wow. I see you got my brother's wrestling tights there. That's nice, late, right? uh, Umaga. There's a method to Umaga's madness, and this man is who we see out of control so often, King, may be in more control than we think. My brother, they still collect stuff of him. And it makes me so proud just to know that he left his mark in this industry, not only for his family, but for the fans. And now, Maga catching Cena. <laughs> Right there is the sumo belt. There's a lot of history behind this here. This was actually one of my first, the beginning of my character. Getting choked up a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it I just means a lot to me. Yeah, it does. As professional wrestlers, we've sweat, we've bled in these outfits. And nothing more satisfying to show up and to see it, that it's well taken care of. It's, you can see that there's love behind what Mark has done. Mark, yeah. would it be too much of an imposition to ask you to take that item down so we could look at it? Yeah. How fast can you run? Mm -hmm. You keep them busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, look at that. That doesn't even look like an eyesore already. No, that doesn't look bad. You won't even know it's gone. <laughs> I had no idea in a million years that this was going to be the character that takes me into the Hall of Fame. You know, when the Rikishi character came to play, the first thing I thought was sumo wrestler Yoko. Oh, no! Different. Thinking, how can I switch this up to not bite off of what Yoko was doing? 
and so came up with the thong. That's one hell of a thong there. Is that the real deal, Keish? Yep, this is it. That's all the material that was used to cover this massive buttocks. <laughs> right there. These two men grew up in a family deep in, in WWF tradition. There's no family sympathy now. Oh, come on. I wanted to do what sumo wrestlers wouldn't do. So we did the bleach hair, and then came up with the, you know, the dancing thing at the end. And now we're gonna have some fun. That's what the big quiche does, man. Put the hat on and touch the rock. That right there took Rikishi to another level. This has a lot of history behind this right here. Uh, this man ran mm. over Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I had my head on there. <laughs> Next thing you know, a car comes crashing through a metal the retainer wall and runs down Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I did it for the rock. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the WWE has always let the Island Boys in, but we were always held back. I ran Stone Cold over, and I did this for you and our people. This is my item, my personal item. Now, you paid, what was it, 2000 for the two pieces? Yeah, about that. What if we were able to raise the price to $2,500? Mm. Uh, I don't really need the money. I just kind of want to put something else sure, put in its place up there. We can bump our financial offer up to $3,000. We could also get you two tickets to the upcoming Extreme Rules pay-per-view in Philadelphia with the VIP experience. The look of that man, he's either got a poker <laughs> face or he's just not willing to help us out. I've been doing this long enough to recognize a stalemate when I see one. And the look on Mark's face is telling me and Keish that it's probably time to go. Well, I believe at this point, we have to accept it's not going to happen. OK. Thanks for having us in your home. Right. It's been Thank an you. honor. Appreciate Thank that you, very much. Thank I'm you. sorry we yeah, could right. not make a deal. If you change your mind, you let us know, OK? Wow. <sighs> you want me to do it or not? It's your stuff you have to make. I mean, do you want to go to the pay-per-view? Like... <laughs> All right, I'll Before do it. Before I go, you hear me? What? I'll do it. She will do me, it? Yeah. Go back wow. out there. Why did you wait until we came all the way down half the steps? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. He was tied to it. And, you know, as a wrestler and performer, makes me feel good that I've had some type of impact on the fans life for them to really want a piece of what I wear or what I've done in the industry. Give me Look a hug. Look at that. <laughs> Give me a hug. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Watson. All right, buddy. We did it. We did it. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this.